and welcome to Zoo News. I'm here to take you behind the scenes at Paradise Wildlife Park, but first let's take a look at the latest news from around the park. Over the last month the primate team has welcomed two new members to its collection. Spartacus, a black-tailed marmoset from Chester, and King Sun, an endangered golden lion tamarind from Sweden. We are hopeful that King Sun and Mary, our current golden lion female, will form a breeding pair. On the 6th of May, the large carnival team saw the arrival of female cheetah, Tani. She has come to us from Holland as part of a breeding programme. At the moment, she is completing her quarantine before being introduced to one of the male cheetahs. We will keep you up to date with more information in the weeks to come. We are pleased to announce the birth of two baby cotton top tamarinds. They were born on Monday the 12th of May and the whole family is doing well. Cotton top tamarinds are one of South America's most endangered primates. Their birth following baby Spencer's last year is a massive success for the breeding programme. On the 20th of May, Skye, our female reindeer, gave birth to a healthy baby boy, Pluto. He can be seen over at the reindeer paddock, gradually growing in confidence every single day. Native to the Andes Mountains in South America, these furry little creatures are critically endangered due to the fur trade. I'm talking about the chinchilla. Chinchillas have the softest fur of all land mammals. They have 50 to 60 hairs growing out of each follicle. Humans have one to two hairs, and this is the reason they have been hunted so severely. Their fur is too dense to bathe in water, so instead they take a dust bath. Chinchillas use their tail for balance and are prolific climbers and high jumpers. Chinchillas' teeth never stop growing. They can grow up to 12 inches every year. They are named after the South American China people and their name means Little Chincha. Ever wondered what happens backstage at Paradise? Then you'll love this section of Zoo News. This is Keeper Cam. Join us next time for a sneak peek backstage at Paradise. Since the beginning of the year, our rainforest exhibit has undergone major refurbishment. All the enclosures are now linked, making it easier for keepers to separate or introduce animals. The new design also means that the enclosures stay warm in an energy efficient way. From the outside, the decor and planting is all new and there is an adventure DVD playing for children to get involved with too. Alongside the refurbishment, we have had some new arrivals over the last year, which we hope will play an important role with the different breeding programmes. Glenn, obviously the refurbished building is really exciting, but has it had any effect on the inhabitants of the rainforest? Yeah, it's had some really good effects. Um, Marcus, who is one of our marmosets, who was previously uh, showed on Zoo News, uh -huh. uh, has actually been able to climb for the first time properly, of which he, uh, which he couldn't before because he was looked after quite badly previously. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, obviously, so positive behaviour has come out of the new building. Have you seen any breeding or have you even had any babies since the enclosures have been up and running? We have. Our cotton tops uh, gave birth to twins uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we've seen some very nice mating behaviour from the slobs um, and our golden lion tamarinds who've met each other for probably about a week have already been seen mating a couple of times. Well that's really great to hear. Well obviously you and the team have put a lot of effort into designing the new enclosures. How do they differ from the old ones? Uh, these enclosures are a lot bigger and uh, they're also a lot taller. 
Uh, one handy thing is that they have built-in hatches in the walls, oh, right. which makes it easier to move monkeys about and introduce them to each other as well. Oh, that sounds really good. Well, is there any more to come from the rainforest? Uh, there is. We've actually got to refurb all the outside enclosures, uh, and also inside we've got to do, redo the floor and all the signage as well. Wow, so watch this space. Thanks very much, Glenn. No problem. On Saturday the 7th of June, Peppa Pig and George will be visiting us here at Paradise Wildlife Park. Annual ticket holders get a special meet and greet in the morning before everyone can meet them at set times throughout the day. Please see the website for more information. On Saturday the 27th of June, we will be celebrating British Wildlife Weekend. There will be stalls with crafts to buy along with bee and butterfly friendly plants. We'll be holding woodland talks and there will be people from local wildlife conservations giving out information. Our adult red pandas will both be celebrating their birthday this month. Tilly will turn 3 on the 22nd of June and Teachman will turn 12 on the 29th. These two have been a massive success for the breeding programme, producing two male panda cubs last year. On the 27th of June, our two Amir Tiger females, Siberia and Alina, will be turning two years old. There are estimated to only be 350 adult Amir Tigers remaining in the wild, with 100 of those being females of breeding age. So, they will hopefully play a vital role in the breeding programme. Sadly, that's all from Zoo News for now. As always, we would love to know your thoughts and what animals you would like featured on next month's episode. Don't forget, for all the up-to-date information, check out our Facebook page or Twitter. And of course, if you can't wait until next month, why not have a look at our other videos on our YouTube channel. See you next time. <laughs>